Hey everybody! In this month's Hero Arts video, we are heading to one of my favorite places, which is the kitchen. In this awesome kitchen themed release that goes along with the kit this month, and even gave me a little bit of cereal killer room to play with. So let's cook up a very cute card. First of all, this fancy die, which is a kitchen scene with lots of embossing. You can see all these little items on the shelves. I'm gonna work with this sassy little oven today. There's also this cling stamp, which has tiles and these awesome sentiments that are so cute, as well as some extra dies, which you are going to see on my cards as well. Now this tile stamp is really interesting. I want you to look at everybody's cards today because we've had people turn this into brick. It has like the classic subway tile sort of look that a lot of people love in their kitchens. In the intersections of the grout lines, there's a tiny circle detail that gives it like a mid-century modern feel that I think is really fun but I'm going to use it for a checkerboard floor. So it has lots of possibilities, as you can see. Now I cut the oven out of the scene. This was giving me so many 50s feels that I had to create my perfect retro mid-century modern oven in, of course, turquoise. I can imagine myself in my little turquoise and orange mid-century modern house baking amazing things in this turquoise oven. And of course, everything's always immaculate, right? That's how it was in the 50s. So, or at least that's how it was in my mind. So I am coloring this with my Olo markers. They are still available for pre-order and they have some good deals. I will pop a link to them below. I love these markers. They're a free flow marker instead of a pressure marker, so you never get those little splutes of ink that you might be used to with alcohol markers. And the ink flow is really, really great. Has a beautiful brush tip, so I'm able to color around all these little knobs and the handle on the oven. And then it has gas burners, which I wouldn't even accept a die that was an electric stove because <laughs> I love my gas stove so very much, and I love that this one has gas burners on it. It's like it was made for me. And look, the oven door opens. So I'm going to use a graphite marker with a fine tip to color some of the little elements, like the feet and the knobs and the little handle for the oven door. These are the perfect size for these little tiny details. And I figured I would just make it a very low contrast color here just with the dark gray and then I'm going to come back in and add some white highlights to make it look like that shiny enamel that I have in my head if you are not familiar with the company that makes big chill appliances I encourage you to go look because that's what I had in mind when I was making this little stove they make these fabulous retro enameled stoves and refrigerators in crazy awesome colors like bright cherry red and turquoise and you will fall in love with them and then you'll be really mad at me because they are so expensive none of us could ever possibly buy them but in my mind I buy them all the time. So now I'm taking a Posca paint pen. I'm so excited because I just got the package of these that comes in all the different widths in white. Because of supply chain issues, this had been back ordered forever. So I will put this set that I am using down below. It makes me so happy because white is the color that I probably use the most. Oh, that oven door just kills me, kills me. Now I wanted to give it a little bit of shading to make it look more dimensional. So I just chose a barely, barely darker pencil from my latest pencil craze set, which is a very inexpensive pencil set that I just love because they go on so smoothly. They're super creamy, easy to blend. In my mind, this is the best starter colored 
pencil. I think you would have the least frustration with this if you were learning colored pencil techniques and how to blend. So I definitely give these my five star seal of approval. I think they're great. Plus it's just a really small set. So it's really affordable. You never want to spend a bunch on a medium you haven't tried right at the beginning, right? It seems like such a risk. So see how much more dimensional that makes it. I'm also going to go around the little knobs in between where they would have shadows and I'll slow this down and show you how that makes such a big difference around the door. So now I'm going to do my checkerboard floor because in my imaginary mid-century modern kitchen, what else could I have on the floor but a black and white checkerboard? It's actually like a law that that's what you have to have when you're making your mid-century modern kitchen. So I'm a law-abiding citizen. That's what I did. I end up deciding to do one more row here just to give it a little bit of depth on the card. That's why I didn't really bother stamping the whole thing completely in my misty, and I had tape covering up part of it because I'm only using this little small section. I wanted the oven to be the star of the show as it should be. Oh, so cute. So I cut that up. So I just have a little section of flooring. Is that not the cutest thing ever? You could also use this for a NASCAR themed card. I'm just saying, the stamp has a lot of possibilities. So now I'm taking one of my pre cut and scored top folding A2 cards. And that will be my card base. And while it looks really cute on that clean background, I just think something about that black piece of cardstock really makes the oven pop. So I am going to keep that in there. So I'm sort of going through my whole <laughs> thought process here. I didn't edit that out because I wanted you to see what it's like just to make a card with me. So the little floor will go not quite all the way across the card. I wanted kind of a different design here where it was sort of floating in the middle. And when you apply the glue, you want to put it around the edges. Don't put it on the door because I want a little bit of dimension on that door, but do put it underneath so that everything is anchored except the door and you can pop that door open just a little bit. I have this slightly off center again on purpose. I think that just adds a little bit of interest to the design. And now I will stamp the sentiment onto the door of the oven. You could also stamp your sentiment inside the oven, which would be cute as heck. I love these sentiments that you bake the world a butter place. <laughs> it just appeals to my punny heart. So cute. But I'm going to do the what's cooking because that's just like a general hello card that I feel like would be super fun. So I will stamp that on the door twice because I can. Thanks, Mini Misty. And now you can see it with this little open door. So cute. Black on the inside, little shininess from the white Posca pen. So much fun. So here's the finished card. And we have lots of giveaways. I have lots of other products that came out with this release that are over my blog and are not shown here. This little pie one is so sweet. And you can see I use the same background for a tablecloth. And then of course my Dexter card because I'm me and I had to do this. <laughs> so head over to my blog for giveaways and more information. And thanks so much for watching.